was just thinking how the world has changed for Greg Blewett. We're talking about the injury to Michael Slater. Suddenly Greg Blewett's going to get the opportunity to open for Australia in New Zealand with Slater injured. So he's uh, not in the original A squad. Suddenly gets uh, promoted in the second half of the World Series competition. Makes the most of that. He's in the test side, batting at number six. Gets a debut hundred. And uh, shortly he's going to be opening the batting for Australia. He'll be opening with this man, Mark Taylor. Bowled by Angus Fraser. Inside edge onto uh, leg and just clip the off stump. Just the one bale dropping off. Uh, leg cutter there from Angus Fraser. Yeah. Off the mark. I guess the other bloke who's going to benefit from the injury to Slater is Ricky Ponting. He would have gone over to New Zealand as the extra batsman. Now suddenly he's going to be uh, to be in the top six. That's a super shot. Plays that very well. We saw a few of those in the limited overs pictures and also down at Hobart in that Australian 11 game against England, Bill Reeve Oval. He's tested him again. They have two very, very good shots. Nice roll of the wrist. Ball didn't go in the air. It was uh, thumped into the ground straight away. The bird life was really nice. But they're challenging courses that would challenge anybody, especially with this wind in Perth. And that one's uh, beaten gully. It's running down towards the boundary, but Lewis is quite quick. He may just get there. No, he won't. And well, that's gone to the fence. Uh, that brings up the 150. And uh, just five wickets down. That's into the gap. Ramp the cash is after it. I'll be looking for the fourth here. It's coming back uh, by way of Gooch. What's comfortably home for four. Well, and that one's gone through that, that gap again, and that'll go for four. So that is a little wide, and uh, Blewett went after that. It's quite well pitched up. It's the sort of one that, uh, sort of delivery that tempts batsmen. In the air, but wide of gully. And that'll go for four as well. There's um, not too many of those want to be bowled. And that uh, four brings up the 50 partnership. That really was short, was asking to be cut. So a very good partnership between Blewett and War. Five for 179. And this will probably be the last over now before the lunch break. And uh, that one's been nicely played too. He just opened the face on that one, ran it down towards the boundary. And uh, they really are taking control. That's through the covers, that's four. Yes, get a bag, just to get a try. Often, always difficult in swoops, but Thorpe stands so far back. It was dying when it got to him. It was a genuine nick off a half volley. That's a nice four for Blewett. Nice shot. Straight onto middle leg stump. Blewett picked him off. He's a very aggressive young cricketer. A run four, at least. Four all run. So he's moved into the 40 spread good. It's a wonderful start to his test career. Whoops, goes for the full shot. Tuffnell knocks it down. That's 50 for Greg Ward. Went for the full shot. Too quick for him. He got it to the ground. It's a fine half century. He's got there quickly. He came in after Steve War, and he's almost doubled Steve War's score. Nine boundaries in 50. That's a good percentage. Be very careful of that. Slower ball and beautifully struck. Just waited for it. Just that fraction of a second longer. A real class shot from Greg Blewett. He's not all that far off another one here. He's just 37 away from be a century in the first two tests he's played.
Talking of quaint happenings on the field, what about that one? Yes, he really did um, get himself in a tangle down there. You just have to watch Devon Malcolm down on the boundary here. He really didn't pick this up at all. Oh, there's a good shot. Very, very impressive, uh, this young player, with his handling of every type of bowling, not just uh, the pace, which he does play well. That's a beautiful pull shot. Yes, that's absolutely magnificent to watch. Ended up making 700. What a lovely stroke. Oh, that uh, brilliant pull shot of Lewis, last over. And that was the most superb timing. He didn't actually hit the ball, he just caressed it away through the covers. Yep. Case for Chris Lewis. <laughs> I gathered and just strolling up to a first slip. What a long chat with Graham Gooch. And another boundary. So the Australians really on the move now. The uh, signal has gone out. Gonna move on. There it goes again, the full shot. 16 boundaries in uh, his 98 that's a terrific percentage of boundaries so Greg blew it just two runs short of a century in his first two test matches there it is appropriately with the pull shot and a boundary magnificent performance from young Greg Blewett second successive ton in uh, test cricket successive test matches and uh, Australia five for 312 now leading by 419. That should be out. However, you never know, he's caught it. Devon Malcolm. And Devon has missed a couple uh, of other bowlers and he's missed one of, him, of his own bowling as well, but he got that. That would be very much appreciated, I can tell you. Well, that's it. The heart was quivering a bit there. He even surprised Richie Benno with this, and I think he surprised himself, did Devon. He can't see the ball very well. Not the best at catching, but he got it. That's all that matters. Lovely innings. And a lovely performance, really, to get two centuries in consecutive test matches.